Hello everyone, this is Salar and you are watching Smart Code. I did a tutorial a while ago and showed you how to use web fonts and you learned how to add font files to your website and instruct the browser to use that files. And now in this tutorial, I will show you another way to add web fonts to the website. That is Google Fonts API. And when you use Google Fonts API, you actually don't need to upload any font file to your website. You just add Google Font API to your website and it works. Right, so you are going to learn how to add and use Google Font APIs in this tutorial. Are you ready? Let's check it out. So as usual, I am using a simple HTML, a heading and three paragraphs. And CSS file is totally empty, right? Now, in order to apply Google Font API, you first need to find it. And for that, you will only visit Google Font website. So open the website by using the URL fonts.google.com or you can even search it into your favorite search engine. Now here we have website open and we are going to spend some time here. When I visited this website some time ago, it has a different layout. So don't get confused if you visit this website in future and it has another different layout. The important things that you need will always be here, right? So at the top, you see a search bar and using it, you can search font APIs. And under the search bar, you have different options like categories, language, and font properties. Using these options, you can simply filter out font APIs. So do check these options by yourself, right? And here to the right, you can switch between the grid and the list view. So these grid boxes that you actually see right here are Google Fonts APIs. And at the moment I am recording this video, Google offers you more than 1000 different font API styles. And all of them are totally free to use. It's amazing, right? So it's now time to make a selection and choose an API. It might take some time to find one if you don't have a specific look already in your mind, but I have it. The API that I'm going to choose is called bad script. Here we have it. Now click on it. Right, so here you will find everything that you need to add this API to your project. So scroll this page down to see what do we have here. This is the actual font presentation and here you see a specimen sheet showing every letter in the font. It's good to see what the entire alphabet looks like and also to make sure that it has all the characters you need, right? And then comes designer and license info. And lastly, one very important thing is pairing suggestion. Google suggests you the other fonts goes well with the selected one. Like here, the suggestion says the font bad script can be paired with the open sense and some other fonts listed here. And here you see a demo. If you use bad script for heading, then you can use open sense for paragraph, right? Okay, now it's time to add and use this API. So scroll up the page and here you will see an option, select this style. So click on it. And when you click on it, the font API is added to your selection box at the top right corner. Now expand this selection box by clicking on it and here you will find the information that you need to add this API to your website. So the API can be added using two ways, link tag or import directive. I will show you both the ways and discuss the pros and cons related to them. And down there, you see an example about how to use this font. Okay, so let's start with the first option, that is link tag. All you need to do is copy this code and paste it into the head section of your HTML. Right, so here the code is added to a document and you will notice two different link tags. The first one uses pre-connect and it is used to load font API faster. Your browser in advance will establish the connection to the Google server. As a result, both the CSS file and the font API will load at the same time. If you don't add this pre-connect, then there might be some performance issue, like the CSS loads first and then the font API. Okay, the second link tag contains the font API that we wanna load into our website. 
and we need to look into the href attribute because the information here is important. So the first portion of href attribute contains a web server address that provides the font. In the second portion, you see the name of the font that we want to add, bad script, separated by a plus sign because space is not allowed in the URL, right? And the third portion that you see is display swap. The display swap is important. The value swap tells the browser to use the fallback font to display the content in case of any delay in loading font API, right? So this is how href attribute looks in most of the cases, but there can be some other info in it depending on the font API you choose. Now, if you're wondering, are there more settings that we need to do? The answer is no. The font API is added now and you can start using it straight away. So let's now apply this font to the heading and the first paragraph. Now check the result in the browser and there we have it, right? Font is supplied. You see the process is very simple. Add API link and start using it. So let's now check out import directive method. Unlike link tag, import directive is placed inside the CSS file. As you can see, it's style attribute around the code that simply indicates the code belongs to the CSS. Now copy the import directive only as we are using external CSS style sheet, so we don't need a style attribute, right? Now paste the directive at the top of the CSS file. That's it. Now deactivate the link tags and check out the result in the browser if import directive working or not. And there you see no difference in the output, right? That means everything is working fine. So now you have learned two different ways to load Google Font API into your project. And you may have realized which one is better to use. If not, let me tell you, the import method is better than link method. Let's suppose you have a website consists of five different pages and one CSS file. So if you choose link method, then you will paste link code onto five different pages, right? But if you choose import method, then you only paste the code once at the top of your site's external style sheet. And all the pages that link to that style sheet start using the font, right? Now, irrespective of what method you choose, external fonts have always slight effect on the performance because the files need to be downloaded. So be careful and don't go crazy and use so many fonts. Otherwise, site visitors will have to wait long time for the fonts to appear. Okay, so let's move further and see how do we call multiple APIs to the same project. So the bad script API is already added into our selection box. And now I'm gonna choose another one. Let's choose a font from pairing suggestion. For example, this one, Railway. So now here in the selection box, you will see Google prepared a single import directive for both the APIs. As you can see in the directive, both the fonts are listed, right? So copy the directive and paste it into your CSS file. That's it. Now we are calling multiple font APIs into a project using a single import directive. And you don't need to take Google help all the time in order to create multiple font APIs import directive. You can add any valid API by yourself because the syntax is very simple. You will use ampersand sign to separate each font and apply family property for specifying the font name. Let's say if I add another font named Sophia, so I can do it easily using the syntax. So I will use ampersand sign as a separator and then specify the font using family property, right? Right, so it's now time to check if everything is working fine. We have three different APIs, bad script, railway, and Sophia. And we have already applied bad script to the heading and the first paragraph. Let's now apply railway to the second and Sophia to the third paragraph.
Now check the result in the browser. And they will see all of the APIs are working fine. We have bad script, railway and Sophia, right? So now we have reached to the end of this tutorial and you learned how to add Google Font APIs using two different ways. And you also learned how to call multiple APIs. I will see you around in some other tutorial and thanks for watching.